Do you want a quick and efficient way of communicating with your voice without having to use video and that can be sent to anyone, anywhere? Well, I discovered a free tool that I have been loving. It allows me to record a voice message super quick and I can just grab the link and send it to anyone. It's very similar to the software Loom where you can record your screen or record videos, but when that is overkill and you really just need a voice message, but the only alternative is to type out your message on the platform that you are sending the message on, this saves so much time. Keep watching and I'll show you the tool and how to use it. Hi, my name is Samantha. I am an online business manager and a Sana system specialist. If you are subscribed to my channel, I just want you to know that I am so grateful you are here and I've been loving the messages that you've been sending me and just appreciating you so much. And I'm so glad that I'm able to help you in this way. And if you're new here and you just stumbled upon this video, I would love to have you as part of my community. I am here to help you save time and mental energy in your online business. So please subscribe so that you never miss a video. Well, first of all, I just want you to know that this video is not sponsored. I'm just super excited about this tool. I wish it was a sponsored video. <laughs> Before we get started, let me know in the comments if you prefer to type out messages in text format or if you do prefer the option of using your voice. Comment either the word type or voice in the comment section below to let us know. Okay, so this tool that I have found as I said, it's so great and saves so much time. It is called Async. Let me show you how it works. All right, so I did say that this is a free program, which it is, it's totally free, but I just wanted to show you that there is an option to get it a paid version of it. Um, as you can see here, you can get, nine, get it for $19 per year for your first year um, or regularly $35. But from what I can tell, the only thing that that gets you is a personalized URL. So to me, that's not super important. Like I don't mind it being Samantha.226. Maybe if this got really popular and um, people were using it more, it might matter more because then people wouldn't be able to find me on here maybe. Uh, but at this point, I just, I really don't see uh, the added benefit of having my own customized URL. So everything that I'm going to show you here can be done either on your computer or on your phone because they do also have an app that has all of these capabilities that I'm about to show you. Okay, so, oh, my face is in the way, so I will just move myself <laughs> over here. All right, so all you have to do to create a, your first voice note is click this little microphone button here. And then if you know that people have an async account or you want to invite them to sign up, I believe, uh, then you can connect to your Google contacts and communicate with them that way. And I don't think you need to grab the link. I personally haven't done that. I haven't seen the need to do that. Um, most of the people that I'm sending it to, I don't know if they want to have or want to be connected to async through their Google account. So I just grab the link. So I just click this to skip and grab a shareable link. So then all you do is you start recording and it records your voice and you say the message that you want to say. And once you are complete, you can pause, you can restart. Uh, once you have finished your recording, you just hit this check mark and then you just name your message and then save and get link. Okay, and then this is what your message looks like. I'm actually going to, you can see that uh, what I just said uh, is also showing in a transcript here, but I'm going to show you an example because if you have a longer async message, it doesn't even have to be that long, but it also has a too long don't read option up here summarizing what you said. So it's really great because anyone can, they can either listen to it or if they're in you know, an environment where they don't want to listen to a voice message, they can also read it and they can also see the quick summary of what they're about to read or listen to, which is just so great. All right. So then all I need to do once I have completed it and I want, I'm ready to send it out. So I believe when it brought me over to the page with this one, it automatically copied the link, uh, but I'm going to do this one. And I'm just going to click copy link again here. It gives you the option of connecting with a Google contact, but I'm just going to copy the link. And then what I would do is I would head over to my Asana account. And like, say I wanted to send this as a comment in Asana, instead of typing out my big, long text comment, I just want to send them a quick voice message. So then I would just paste it in here as a comment and then I would send it off to them. You can also send this, you know, as a, like a text message or anywhere that, you know, they don't already have an option to send a voice note. Oh, email is another great one. That's what I love to do on email as well. 
um, so that you don't, again, have to, when the only alternative is to type it out, this is just a really, really great option. All right. And then, so say I am receiving this link from someone else who sent it to me. I'll just show you how it works. So let's say I clicked it, but I'm going to go incognito so that I'm not logged in. And we will just paste it here and I'll show you what it looks like to the person who is receiving it. So if you don't see, so you don't have to have an account, you can just copy and paste the link or click on it and it'll bring it up just like this. And you'll see who it's from and you'll see like it has my image there and everything. And then you can play the message. You can read it just as I said, you can read the summary. You can also react to it and you can comment to it. But I believe you have to, let's see, do you have to create an account? All right. So it looks like they can just, if they already have an account, they can choose this option or they can just tell you who they are. Oh, you need a first and last name. Lucy last. <laughs> okay. Send your reaction. All right. And then, okay. And then you can not get notified if someone replies. All right. So you can see that's really great. And then I will be sent the reaction. I already see the notification on my other monitor here. Um, so that's what it looks like when you receive it. So as I said, it's just a really, really great option and I'm so excited to share it with you if you didn't already know about it. Hey, I'm coming to you from a different day because I actually just recorded this video last week and then this week, the week following my recording that video, um, Async came out with a couple awesome new features that I just had to share it with you. Okay, so this one I'm really, really excited for. So if you download um, their Chrome extension, you can um, have it work with Gmail and also uh, just on Chrome itself. So I will show you what that looks like. So in your Gmail account, you have you now have this little microphone that is the async microphone and you can, I'll show you the example, you just start recording just like this. And the really, really awesome thing is you don't even have to go to an async um, and grab the link anymore. All you do is click this check mark and it will automatically, you can click add to email and it will add this to the email. Um, and then someone will click on this. It doesn't actually play in your email. Maybe that's a future feature that they will do. Um, but right now the recipient will still need to click this and then it'll take them to that page that I showed you previously that the recipient sees. Um, but still, this is a really awesome feature. It just, it saves me so much time on my end right and you on your end if you're sending the voice note so that's very awesome and then you can also do it right within your browser as well instead of having to go to async's website you can now just have the extension appear right here and so you can click and you can start recording a message so you'll see it even has the website link that you are on so if you are talking to someone about this website then that is going to appear here and then when you click the check mark you'll see it says feedback on there and then it links to it. Um, so that's really awesome if you want to point someone to something on a certain website or, you know, you're making a comment on your own website for your assistant or whatever the case may be. Um, that is a really great feature as well. All right. So I would love to know if you have tried this tool before or if you know of other tools like this one. Tell me in the comments what your favorite tools are for saving time. I would love to know and check them out. If you want to know more about the tools that I love to save time in my business, Check out this video here to see the top five tools that I use daily in my business. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you next week. Bye.